Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I got a random email from somebody with a handful of, I thought, really solid tips in relation to uh, tax returns and uh, how you can keep your identity from being stolen, especially in relation to your tax returns. And I thought I'd share a few of those tips with everybody because this is something that, well, at least here in America, we have to deal with. And so many people don't dispose of things or store things, quote unquote, properly. And I uh, thought it'd be a good time to review these things. So uh, one of the first points uh, that uh, this person makes is that when you're storing a copy of your tax return on your computer, uh, try to secure it with a password, a very complex password. You don't want to use uh, a password that's very easily guessed. Of course, you never want to use the word password as a password. We've done uh, password making tips before in the past. Um, but you want to make sure that if that document is ever leaked or put online or shared, that the information is benign or that they can't get into it without knowing even more information. So always password protect those kinds of sensitive documents. And the same holds true that uh, I don't know if if I were you, I would store a lot of those documents not so much in your home. And if you do store them inside your home, uh, store them inside a waterproof safe uh, or in a safety deposit box off site. Uh, if you do decide, and this is a, 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 a second point here, if you do decide to delete or erase that document, either use the erase tool, which is downloadable for Windows, it's freeware, actually I think it might be open source, or just using the uh, secure delete option inside of Mac OS X, it's, it's built into the OS there, uh, at least for Mac users, uh, securely delete those files. You can't just throw them in the recycle bin, quote unquote, the trash bin, and then empty it and then expect that it's completely gone. You want to make sure it is gone. Securely deleted, uh, the, the, the position at where it existed on the hard drive has been written over several times so that there's no way that information could be recovered. So if you are going to delete, do it that way. Same goes with a, a shredder. You don't just throw a document into the trash or recycle bin, shred it first. And maybe you could use some of your tax refund to buy a better shredder for next year or you know right now because let me tell you, you need to be shredding everything that you get that you don't want to keep. Um, another thing to note, you should ignore all refund or warning or, de uh, or rebate emails that are claiming to come from the IRS. You never click the links that uh, come in through email, especially if they claim to be coming from an official source. Uh, it may look legit, and we've warned you guys about this in the past, um, you don't click on any link in email unless you know that that, was, that came from the sender. You're verifying the, the, the link that you're clicking on. My suggestion, if you get a warning message like that, verify it on the official site. So go to irs.gov and look there. Don't click on any link. I mean, it takes nothing to type in irs.gov or go to Google and type in IRS and look for it. I mean, I can save you keystrokes and keep you safe. Just don't click on those kinds of links in email. If you want another layer of security in terms of uh, email and, and accidentally or inadvertently becoming a, 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 a victim of a phishing, um, and that's a, like a scam where they're getting information from you or phishing it from you, um, just use the OpenDNS, uh, well, it's not really software, it's a service. It's a free service that I've talked about before in this video. Just check out opendns.com for more information and how you can install that or get it running for your home network to keep your entire family safe. Uh, number four, if anybody calls you on the phone and claims to be someone that they're actually not, uh, don't believe them. I mean, even if they know information about you, they say, oh, well, they would be the only people who would know this. Don't give any information over the phone. Don't. Just don't. That's It's a dumb idea. Whenever anybody calls me and asks me to either sign up for something, and you've heard it, sometimes on the live stream people will uh, you know, call in and say, hey, buy a subscription for this, or we can upgrade that, or this. No, 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 no. I will seek you out after doing my research. One thing that stops them dead is you say, well, could you, uh, could you give me a website? Where's the web? Well, we, we can't do that. Uh-uh. Red flag right away. Don't give out information over the phone, no matter how official it sounds. Same holds true for if someone shows up at the door. They may be dressed as a suit and tie and all nice, and, and they may have a partner with them and say, you know, we're here from the government, we're here to get X, Y, and Z. 
don't believe anybody. Period. Um, and this is something that you might want to do throughout the year. And this is kind of I'm going to round out uh, this this list here with this. Check your credit report through all the agencies, and you can choose to do it however you see fit. But keeping on top of that number, don't pull your credit report you know too frequently because that can actually damage your score. Um, but check into it at least once a year. And maybe someone's going to say, that's too liberal. No, you never really know uh, when that's going to turn around and bite you. Uh, either you're going to go for a loan and they're going to say your credit score is horrible. And you're like, what? And you missed the bill or went to the wrong address or something happened and things got screwed up. Always stay on top of that. Uh, and again, that, that's something that can help in terms of identity theft uh, because if, let's say, information leaked, if you check your credit report and you realize, well, what's going on? You may catch that person or a group of people who are stealing your identity sooner rather than later, or at least the possibility of catching them is a little e um, more easily done. So, uh, you know, these are some things in relation to tax season and tax returns and the information that I would consider extremely private. Uh, you know, don't share it with anybody that, you know, you don't need to share it with. Uh, certainly only deal with people you know you can trust, especially with this information. Uh, stay on top of your own life. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Don't count on anybody but yourself uh, to just be in the know. So uh, hopefully that uh, serves, if nothing else, as a, I guess, a little harsh reminder of reality in that not everybody is to be trusted. Take this time now to protect yourself before it's too late. My email address is chris at perillo.com, uh, and of course, I'm always streaming live on the internet. You know, I love the digital thing, but I've got to stay conscious about not everybody is online is someone to be trusted. That's for darn sure. You can trust me, though. I, I am a friendly chap, and, and people in the chat room are also, well, they're, they're friendly for the most part. Sometimes wackos swing by, although there are less wackos in our chat room. We got friendly people in the chat room. The only wacko we have is really me, and I, I, it's just because I enjoy, I enjoy life, and that's why I'm streaming it 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.